In this video, we are going to discuss the arithmetic sequence. In an arithmetic sequence, the difference between one term and the next is a constant, or it is called the common difference. So let's have this example. The infinite sequence 3, 5, 7, 9. 3 is the first term, 5 is the second term, 7 is the third term, and 9 is the fourth term. If we're going to add a number to the first term, let's say for example 2, so 3 plus 2, the second term will be 5. And in the same manner, if we're going to add the same number, which is 2, to this term, the next term will be 7. Again, if we're going to add 2 to 7, the next term will be 9. Now, in the other side, if we're going to subtract a term to the previous term, let's say for example 5, this is a term, and the previous term is 3. 5 minus 3, that is 2. 7 minus 5 is also 2. 9 minus 7 is also 2. So this is the common difference. The common difference for this sequence is equal to 2. Now, let's have the formula for arithmetic sequence. It is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, where a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the term position, and d is the common difference. Let's have our example number 1. Find the 35th term of in an arithmetic sequence 3, 9, 15, 21. Let's have our solution. There are three things needed in order to find the 35th term using the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Let's have the first thing. The first term or a sub 1 is 3 or a sub 1 is equal to 3. That is the first term. Now, the common difference between consecutive terms or d. d is the common difference. d is equal to 6. Why is it 6? If we subtract the second term to the first term or 9 minus 3, that will be 6. If we're going to subtract a third term to the second term, 15 minus 9, that is also 6. And subtract the fourth term to the third term, that is 21 minus 15, the difference is also 6. That is why the common difference is 6. Lastly, we need to identify the term position. The term position is the term that we are finding. So that is n equals 35. Now, we have a sub 35, this is the, the 35th term, equals 3, this is the first term, plus quantity 35 minus 1, n is equal to 35. Then multiplied by our common difference, 6. Then simplify. So 35 minus 1 is 34. Then 34 times 6 is 204. Now, the 35th term is 207. So, this is how we solve arithmetic sequence or finding the, the fourth term in our given. Let's have second example. Find the 125th term in the arithmetic sequence 4, negative 1, negative 6, negative 11, and so on. So for our solution, the first term of the sequence is 4. So obviously we have 4 or a sub 1 is equal to 4. Now the common difference is negative 5. So it is came from subtracting the second term and the first term. That is negative 1 minus 4, that is negative 5. Third term and second term, negative 6 minus negative 1, that is also negative 5. Fourth term minus third term, or negative 11 minus negative 6, that is also negative 5. That is why our common difference is negative 5. Now, the term position is n is equal to 125. By substitution to our formula, we have a sub 25 
equals 4 times or plus quantity 125 minus 1 times negative 1 or negative 5. Then simplify. 125 minus 1 is 124. Then 124 times negative 5 is negative 620. And our 125th term is negative 616. Now, for this example, if one term in the arithmetic sequence is a sub 21 equals negative 17, so this is the 21st, uh, 21st term of our sequence. And the common difference is negative 3. Find the 12th term or a sub 12 and the 82nd term or a sub 82. So for our solution, Identify what is missing in this uh, formula. So we have the n term, we have the first term, we have the term position, and the common difference. The only given is the 21st term, which is negative 17, and the common difference. Now, in our formula, what we're going to find is the first term of the sequence. Okay, so that will be, if we're going to substitute the a sub 21, this is negative 17, equals the first term. So this is missing. Plus quantity, 21 minus 1. So 21 is the term position. So the 21st term is negative 17. Then times the common difference, that is negative 3. Then simplify, we need to isolate a sub 1. So, 21 minus 1 is 20. Then, times negative 3, that is negative 60. Then, transpose negative 60 to the other side. We're going to have a sub 1 equals negative 17 plus 60. And the first term of our sequence is 43. Now, we're going to substitute this first term to our next process. So, we're going to find the 12th term. So here it is. So a sub 12, this is the 12th term, equals 43. This is the first term that we found in our first computation. Plus quantity 12, this is the term position. So 12 minus 1, then the common difference. Then simplify 43 plus, so 12 minus 1 is 11. Then negative 3, this is negative 33. Then, our 12th term is 10. Now, for the term a sub 82, this is our 82nd term. So, I'll substitute the first term. We have 43 plus the term position 82 minus 1 times the common difference negative 3. So, just simplify. So, 82 minus 1 is 81 times negative 3. That is negative 243. Now, the 82nd term is negative 200. 